It was a cold morning in Hanover and Elias Hilpert woke up. His mother Babel was washing clothes downstairs and gave Elias a letter. She says it's from his father Wilhelm. He read it and said that his father was promoted to captain much to Elias's dismay. He resented his father when he joined the Nazi party and didn't want to remain in contact with him at all. What that political party represented was an idealism to make Germany more contained. Cut out all the coloreds and various believers in different religions. Make the country all white and nothing else. Elias never liked the party and become very disillusioned when his father became involved with it. Wilhelm even tried to bring him to the Nazi party and he instantly refused. His beliefs don't go hand in hand with what his father was being taught. Adolf Hitler visited the family home at one point when Wilhelm was still a sergeant. Mainly a general visit and even spoke to Elias. He said to him that his father will do proud for this country and the Nazi party. Also he mentioned when he's a little older he can sign up. Elias just stared at him mainly his toothbrush mustache and that was it. News reports began circling with the rise of the party and that the segregation was rising. Elias listened to these and made his blood boil. After breakfast Elias went out into town on his bicycle. He headed to the local store to pick up a few items for Babel and came across Germa. A local boy who Elias knew when they were young and was Jewish. They talked general chat and then was abruptly stopped by the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper was scolding Germa about his religion and that one day he'll end up imprisoned. Elias retorted back at the shopkeeper saying he's only following what the powers of B are telling them. Brainwashing them to react savagely negative to ones who've lived here all their lives and the shopkeeper just sniffed at this. As he was pedaling home Elias came across a Slavic family known as the Henegers and a couple of Hitler youths were throwing stones at the house. They were shouting racist remarks to them and Mr. Henniger came out with a brush threatening them to leave. The Hitler youths leave smirking and Elias approaches him. Mr. Henniger complained about the broken windows and mentioned Elias' father. Elias said he doesn't want to know his father and what he's been up to recently. Mr. Henniger kindly sympathies to him and a couple minutes later Elias cycles off back home. Later that night Elias was in his room. He was reading when a lightning flash caught his eye. The weather didn't mention storms and he looked out of his window. He saw a wooden box in the back garden smoking and raced down to go outside. He was surprised at the sight of it and then its doors flung open. A grappling hook got flown out and landed near him. Then out popped Louisa and then the doctor. The doctor apologized for the mess in the garden and Elias was dumbstruck by this. He asked how did it ended up here and the doctor said flight issues. Elias then looked at Louisa. She smiled at him and he was instantly struck by her beauty. He took his hand and introduced himself to her. Louisa kindly introduced herself and then pointed to the doctor who was scratching his head on how he can put the TARDIS upright. Elias asked if the doctor was a policeman and the doctor said no. The TARDIS looking like a police box is a disguise and Elias came out saying the TARDIS is actually a lavatory. The doctor retorted to Elias with that rubbish remark and Louisa said it's just nothing. Elias then asked if they wanted to come into the house. They enter in and the doctor asked if anyone else lives here. Elias went on to say that his mother Babel went out of town to visit her sister and his father Wilhelm is away for work purposes. Louisa asked what does his father does and Elias tries to distract her by helping him light the fireplace. The doctor looked around the pictures and noticed a pipe on a shelf. He picked it up and Elias quickly stopped him in his tracks. He told the doctor to put it down and the doctor asked him why. Elias said his father will get the belt out and hit him. Something he'll never do again after that. Louisa felt sorry for him and Elias again perked up with her presence near him. Him and Louisa sat against the fire while the doctor sat in a chair reading a book. He was listening into Elias and Louisa's conversation. Elias mentioned his father was a Nazi captain. Louisa's eye widened and Elias didn't want to continue but Louisa gently persuaded him to. She wanted him to let out his feelings and make him feel open. This conversation continued and after a while it was time to sleep. The doctor wanted to return to the TARDIS to fix it and left Louisa alone with Elias. He took Louisa to his bedroom and started to strip off. He was a bit nervous having a girl in his bedroom and even folding his arms covering his nipples. Louisa laid in the bed and showed off one of her breasts enticing him to feel confident. Elias went to bed. Louisa groped him smugly and laid into him. The next morning Louisa woke up to Elias putting bullets in a pistol. He was wearing a grey army uniform and a black flat cap. Louisa asked what on earth he's doing and Elias said he's going to kill his father. Louisa quickly got out of bed and tried to stop him. 
He removed her out of way and stormed out the house. Louisa quickly got dressed and alerted the doctor. He was in the garden where the TARDIS was repaired and standing upright. The doctor heard her and came to the house. She explained that Elias is going to assassinate his father and the doctor said they need to stop him. They quickly raced out of the house and into town. Elias met up with a group of individuals to assist him with the killing. Consisting of Jews, Romanus, Poles, Slavs, people with disabilities, homosexuals and Jehovah's Witnesses. These people Elias had met years ago and had grown fond of them. He recruited them as his allies to stop the Nazi party and to put a puncture in their plans for the time being. In the town was a Nazi rally was going on. Crowds of people were in the town square waiting for the announcement and looked on at a podium where it will commence. Elias was hiding in the crowd waiting for the moment. Wilhelm walked on stage with the other officers and Elias then clocked his pistol. The moment came and Elias popped out from the audience. He fired his pistol at his father and shot him right in the chest. The doctor and Louisa looked on in shock. People were screaming and panicking. Elias managed to escape the crowd but his associates got captured by the Nazi soldiers and what was meant to be a multicultural democratic unit was just a one-man mission with the lackeys being used as a distraction. Elias didn't know that they were captured but the doctor and Louisa did as they were witnessing the whole thing from afar. The doctor and Louisa raced back to the Hilpert house. They shouted for Elias and went into the house. All of downstairs were empty and they checked upstairs. They find Elias in his bedroom. He was sitting down on his bed shaking. He said to the doctor that he wanted to kill him and he had done. But the aftermath gave him an immense burden like he just lost something. A piece of himself more like and it was one of his family. The doctor just stood there and told Elias that it was his choice to do it. He was drawn to it from his resentment of his father and he did what he wanted to achieve but at what cost to his psyche and even the people around him. Louisa sat next to him and held his hand. She blames herself for influencing him to go with the assassination. Elias said it wasn't her fault. He had the desire to do years ago and made an army to go with him to make a statement against the Nazi party. The doctor said they saw the Nazis captured his associates and will be in imprisoned. Elias' blood went colder and stood up. He approached the doctor and put his head on his chest. He said to the doctor he was sorry for losing those people. He cared for them during this major shift in society and felt even more depressed. He then walked to window and turned to the doctor and Louisa. He brought his pistol out and pointed to his head. Louisa cried out telling him not to do it. The doctor tried to reassure him but Elias said he caused a lot of pain to the associates he's now lost forever and their families too. The doctor said to Elias he'll cause lot more pain when his mother returns from her sisters and Elias said nothing still holding the pistol to his head. Louisa pleaded to him but it was too late. Elias pulled the trigger and his brain splatted around the room. Louisa let out a loud scream and had some of Elias' blood on her. The doctor quickly picked up and left the house. She was kicking and screaming as they headed to the TARDIS. The doctor headed to console and the TARDIS went off. Louisa started batting the doctor's back and he forcefully calmed her down. He tried to explain to her it might be a part of history not worth interfering with or it was an unknown event not documented. Louisa didn't follow nor did the doctor himself and went back to the console deep in thought. Louisa quietly said to him she's going to bath and take her mind off things. The doctor agreed and she left out of his orbit. The doctor looked at the time rotter and said to himself did something like that happened during that time period? 